My bitches love me, yeah. My bitches love me, yeah. They give me love, T. I throw money. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy JD, man. I'm back another video, man. And today I got a little story time for y'all. As y'all can see from the title of this video, let me say this before I get into the video. This video is no cap. I repeat, no cap. Really, nigga? I know y'all not gonna believe it, but I swear this is true, man. I put that on everything, bro. It's actually really happened back when I was in high school, um, year of 2015, when I went to Weemoreville South High School as a senior, man. It's actually really happened, bro. I'm not capping. So, I'm gonna do a little story time from high school when two girls had asked me to go to prom in the same year. You know what I'm saying? So let's go all the way back to when I was a senior in high school. I was 17 years old. I'm now 21 now, but I was a senior in high school, 17 years old. And I back in the back. Oh, can't even talk straight. <laughs> uh, pretty much, um, basically, um, this, uh, okay, I'm gonna talk about the first girl. The first girl, her name was, uh, I'm gonna just say her name. She ain't gonna watch this video. First name, um, she was, uh, you know what? Nah, you know what? I, I ain't gonna say her name. I ain't gonna say her name. I'm gonna say B. That's the first initial of her name. B. Okay, so B. Um, I was already inboxing B in Facebook. You know, like, like you know, obviously, we still use Facebook to this day, but me and her, um, we were just cool. We both was in the same chemistry class, so we would inbox each other, you know, as friends. So we were just talking about class and everything through the inbox, you know what I'm saying? Just having a regular old conversation about school. And then I remember, like, um, later on throughout that uh, message, you know what I'm saying? I think it was, like, an hour later um, uh, after she texted me back. So, like, it was, like, I went, um, I texted her something. Then she um, she read it. Then she, uh, she just mentioned about prom. She said, hey, um, would you want to go to prom with me? You know, just out of nowhere while we were talking, having a conversation. Uh, so here's what I think, right? I think she pretty much asked me because she was looking for a prom date. I'm pretty sure she was in a lot of other guys' inbox. Not to throw shade, but you know, prom season, if you, you know, you gotta look around, you know what I'm saying? Cause sometimes guys ain't gonna approach you. You might have to come at them so you can get a date. You know how, you know how girls are about prom. Girls really want to go to prom more than guys. Let's be honest. So Maybe she thought I was cute, you know what I'm saying? She ended up asking me to go to prom, and um, I ended up saying, yeah. So throughout that process, um, you know, we're texting back and forth. She's texting me about the information, you know, like the, um, the dresses, the tuxedos, the locations, you know, all that stuff about prom, post, uh, pre-prom, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? It's all the information, all the details. So I remember we ended up going to the, the Summer Lakes Clubhouse that's like five minutes away from my house like a recreational center to play basketball and work out. We met up there and we were talking about prom and everything, set it up, getting it all situated. So we talking and everything, a long conversation. And, you know, we say, yeah, we gonna do it. Da, 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 da. And then I remember the next day um, in high school, I'm at the lunch table. I'm telling my homies like, oh yeah, I might be going to prom with such and such. They're like, um, yeah, bro, you should do it, man. You should go to your prom, whatever, whatever. But I'm gonna let y'all know, man. I ended not, I ended up not going to prom at all. Not gonna lie. Back in high school, I'm gonna be honest, I was very shy, very awkward, wasn't really out of my comfort zone. And um, the only thing I would do in high school, I used to go to the homecoming dances. But prom was on another level, and unfortunately, I kind of like messed it up because while me and B was talking, you know, trying to figure out what we gonna do for prom, I was very distant. I wasn't really communicating that much. She kind of just got tired of me, and then we ended up just not going. We ended up part ways and not going to prom. So, yeah, that's pretty much happened with B, man. I ended up not going with her, but she wanted to go with me. You know what I'm saying? She ended up asking me. So that's with the first girl. Now, the second girl, uh, she was a white girl. You know, I'm going to put in the first girl, she was black, okay? Black B. Now, the second girl, she was white. You know what I'm saying? I ended up not going with her either. It was this girl that was in my, um, what class we were in? Oh, yeah, we were in that cooking class. We were in a cooking class. She had red hair, curly hair. She was short. You know what I'm saying? Um, she was a grade younger than me. B, we were in the same grade. 
but the other girl, she was great, younger than me. Uh, she always thought I was pretty cool, and she thought I was cute and all that stuff. And I remember throughout a DM, we ended up talking about prom or something like that. Well, she mentioned prom to me, like, as we were just having a conversation again, like, the same way. But um, the reason why I didn't go with her, I'm going to be honest. I know what y'all already going to think. Jordan, is it because she's white? Yes. Two reasons, actually, why I didn't go to prom with um, A. I'm going to say her initial of this girl's name, A, white girl, red hair. So, I'm not going to, I'm going to be honest, uh, my, I don't know how my mom, I mean, my mom would have, she wouldn't have cared, honestly. It's just that me, just low-key in high school, I was a little insecure a little bit. I ain't going to cap. I'm going to be honest with y'all, you know what I'm saying? This is the real deal, real spill. I'm speaking real stuff about myself, you know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know how my family would have been. I don't know. I just, me personally, just me taking a white girl to prom, it would have been a little, I don't know. That's the real reason why I didn't go. And on top of that, it was kind of already late. I think I think she, we ended up talking about, she talked about going to prom me like a couple days beforehand. Like that obviously is not going to work. You got to like plan weeks and weeks ahead. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, both girls look decent. Um. Yeah, but, oh, I forgot to leave out one more thing about um, uh, B, the black girl. The real reason why I did not go to prom with her, really, too, on top of that, because I have a, a girl cousin, she's 18 now, she's black. She ended up seeing a photo of the girl, and she I honestly didn't think she was the best looking. She wasn't that attractive. And I remember I was sitting next to my auntie and my cousin talking about it, and then my cousin was like, well, it shouldn't matter. Um, he should just go to his prom. It's his last. It's his last prom. He should go. Da -da. And then I ain't gonna lie. Just me being a, a high school kid, you know, young and a little insecure and whatever. I kind of let that get to my head too, and I ended up not going. Cause obviously, you want your family to accept the girl you're taking to prom, and obviously you want a bad chick. I mean, the girl B, she was all right. She had, but she had braces. She was she was all right, but she was a cool person, but. Yeah, that was pretty much a story time about how two girls had asked me to go to prom, man. This is all real facts. None of this is fugazi. I wish I could pull up messages and all that stuff, but they're um, way deep in my Facebook, way deep in my Instagram DM. I don't even have the Instagram DM about the white girl, but I think the black girl is probably still in there, but it's I don't, I'm not about to pull that up and expose her name and all that stuff. So I'm just going to take my word for it. This is actually facts, man. Um... But yeah, I ended up not going to my prom. I wanted to make this video because I know prom is starting to come up around this time. So, hey, if any ladies want me to go to prom with them, let me know. Actually, I don't think I can. I'm 21 now. I think the highest age is 20. But, you know, it is what it is, man. I hope you all like this video. Comment, subscribe. Share this video with your friends and family if you want to. Comment down below more videos y'all want me to do. And I got y'all. And thank you guys for watching. See y'all next video. Peace. The torch!